This is the AGM-122 Sidearm Anti-Radiation Missile. Developed in the 1980s, it is an AIM-9 Charlie variant Sidewinder missile that was converted to an air-to-ground anti-radiation rule. Credit for the main body of the missile goes to the U.S. Naval Weapons Center at China Lake, but Motorola, yeah those guys, made the seeker head for the missile. Welcome to Scenario Fulfillment. I'm Dasher, and today we're going to be talking about the AGM-122 sidearm. The AGM-122 was an answer to the U.S. Navy stockpile of old and obsolete AIM-9 Charlie Sidewinders, and a need to give low-flying aircraft an edge against air defenses. Roughly 700 out of 1,000 missiles were converted. There's conflicting sources on what's pushing this weapon. Either a Hercules Mark 36 or Mark 17 solid propellant rocket motor. The same could be said with the warhead, if it was ever altered at all, so it's safe to say it still uses the Mark 48 continuous rod warhead. And this missile had an approximate range of 10 miles or 16 kilometers. As for the seeker, it uses a passive radar homing broadband seeker, created by that telecommunications company, Motorola. The Seeker can be set with seven different broadbands, and was preset on the ground to what systems might be encountered in the mission. The missile is pretty light, weighing less than 200 pounds or 90 kilograms. Comparing that with the AGM-88, ARM, which weighs more than 700 pounds or 317 kilograms. Now this missile wasn't designed to completely take out a vehicle. It would always aim for the radar emitter, and that takes it out of service. Could probably start a fire though. With that being said, it can hit a target if it was moving at a slow speed. But if it turned off its radar, the missile will just go dumb. An improved version was going to be made called the AGM-122 Bravo, but was cancelled. The missile would never see combat and was taken out of service in 1992. If you ask me, this concept seems viable for low-flying aircraft today. Aircraft like the A-10C that's going to be around for a little while longer, the A-64E and A-H-1Z could still utilize something like this. Mobile anti-air systems like the TOR system and Panzer I can pop up anywhere, anytime, and catch any aircraft off guard. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. But for now, let's take a look at the basic operations of the missile. Today our AV-8Bs are going on a deep air support mission. Intel says that their plan route is clear, but to expect anything on the way. They are armed with Mark 82s and AGM-122 sidearms. As they cross an enemy territory, their aircraft is illuminated by a 9K-33 OSA, native reporting name SA-8 Gecko. Seeing that this could be a threat, the flight leader activates his sidearm. Just like the iconic growl of a sidewinder, the sidearm has one for when it can't see anything. But once the pilot puts the seeker in the general direction of the gecko system, its tone changes. And that tone turns into a more confident, I am ready to launch, shoot me tone. The flight turns away from the system and waits. Thank you for watching. Help the channel grow by liking, subscribing, and commenting on if you think a lightweight missile just like this could make a comeback in today's day and age. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.